Hi, boys and girls. This is Unit 10, Week 3, Day 5. And today for story time, we are revisiting our unit story, The Skunk. Now, I know you've read The Skunk multiple times by now, and we've discussed it. We even made a storyboard. And I have in front of us the storyboard that I created. And if you remember, it had characters from the story, it had our setting, it had main events of the story, and we went through step by step. And this is how, when we made a movie in our minds, it was brought to life. And I had explained that your version in your mind might be completely different than my version, but this was the version I shared with you. So now this type of story, because it had characters and it had a setting and it did have events, this is what we call a narrative story. Can you say that word? Narrative. And narrative means that the story is make-believe. Now, could this have happened? It could have, but this story was make-believe because it had different characters and it had events that had occurred. It wasn't a factual story that was filled with information, okay? So when we have a story that's filled with information, we call it, we call it an informational text. It's also called nonfiction. A narrative is fiction. So right here, I have a little demonstration. You can see we have a fake illustration of a skunk. This would be a skunk that was in a story that was maybe make-believe. And now over here, I have a real image of a skunk. So if I were reading a story about facts, about skunks, then that would be informational. So today, I'm going to show you the flip side. I'm going to show you the informational side. And I have a story here. It's from reading A to Z. And this story is called You Stink. And right away, when I look at the cover, I can see a real picture of a skunk. Now, still, maybe I'm not sure if this is a narrative or informational, but when I look at that picture, oh, they could have been the kids in our story, right? When I go over here, I see a table of contents. Table of contents, you most often will see in an informational text. And it has different page numbers where you can find information on different topics. So here I have nobody likes you, what kind of animal, why you stink, skunk homes baby skunks, skunks and people, and a glossary and index. And a glossary and index are also different parts of a book when it's informational that you will find. So now if I were to flip to the first page, I'm only going to read a few pages of this story. I want you to think about facts. Think about real information that's being provided in the story that the author is giving us, okay? And try to think about it and put it in your brain, put it in your mind. Here we go. So first, I do have a skunk and I have another little skunk peeking out. And you can see this is a caption. It tells me what I'm looking at. And it says, you are a striped skunk. And here is my subtitle, Nobody Likes You. Imagine that you are a four-legged animal about the size of a cat. You have short legs and a long, bushy tail. Your soft black fur has long white stripes. You are a beautiful animal, but nobody wants to be your friend. Why not? You're a skunk and you stink. Anyone who smells you or gets sprayed by you never forgets. Oh, poor skunk. You and your smelling cousins live in many parts of North and South America. Striped skunks, your kind, are the skunks most people know about. Hooded skunks look like you, but more of their fur is white. Hog-nosed skunks 
look like hooded skunks with long noses. Spotted skunks have white spots or short stripes. So here you can see two more pictures. You have your hog-nosed skunk, see the little nose, and then you have your hooded skunk. Look at that. I've never seen a skunk like that before. And then it says, do you know not all skunks are black and white? Some skunks are white with brown, tan, or gray. A few skunks are all white. So we are already gathering some facts about this story. Are you getting those facts in your mind? We're going to read one more page, and then I'm going to make a list of some of the facts. You are a mammal. This large group also includes whales, bears, deer, mice, and many other animals. Like other mammals, you have a backbone and hair, and your babies are born live. The mammals on this page are some of your closest relatives. And if we look close, we can see there are captions. This is a ferret, a badger, and a raccoon. Maybe we'll do one more page. Look at this. Like many of your relatives, you like to eat both animals and plants. More than half of your food is insects. You also like to eat worms, frogs, rodents, lizards, snakes, birds, and eggs. Some of your favorite plants are grass, leaves, nuts, and berries. If you can see right here, this word is in bolded print. And that's a text feature for informational text. This is something that you might see often. And that just means that it's a word that could be a vocabulary word. It's a word that you could look up in your glossary, which is like a mini dictionary. And if I did, I'd figure out that rodents are animals such as mice, rats. They have that long tail. Those are rodents. And here we have a caption. Do you know? Skunks eat garbage in areas where people live. They also eat dead animals left behind by cats. Skunks eat different foods at different times of the year. They don't care what they eat as long as it fills them up. Look at over here. This skunk is eating the dog's food. And it says this dog knows who's the boss. He's probably afraid of that skunk. So this begins our story. There's still some more pages left. And again, it's on reading A to Z. So if you do have access to reading A to Z or Raz Kids, you might see the story there. Now, I want to make a list. What are some facts that we learned about skunks? Can you remember, where do skunks live? According to the text, Skunks live in North and South America. I'm going to increase my font size. How about the coloring of skunks? Do you remember what color skunks are? We know already skunks can be black and white. And then it also said they could be white. Ooh, bounced around. White with brown, tan, or gray. And then it also said that skunks can be all white. Now, if you remember, it said that skunks are mammals and mammals are warm blooded animals like, like us. Skunks are Mammals. 
And what about what skunks eat? Remember? It named a bunch of different things, but basically skunks eat animals and plants. So that's a short list about facts about skunks. So you can see that when we read informational text, we are getting actual facts. These are not opinions. They're not about characters. It's straight facts, things that you learn, things that cannot be argued about skunks in this case. So I want you to understand when you're reading different stories, you have to think in your mind, is this a narrative or it, is it informational text? Hopefully you learned a little bit more today about the two subject areas. And if you get a chance, go ahead and check out our story. There's still many other pages that you can read. And what's great is that if you're doing it on Reading A to Z, it can even read it to you. Okay, thank you for staying with me today, boys and girls. Enjoy the rest of your day.